Your certified most accurate forecast from WMBF First Alert Chief Meteorologist Jamie Arnold. Well, halfway through the work week and 10 minutes past six here on this Wednesday morning as we enjoy another sunrise and another round of comfortable temperatures right now with 59 in Myrtle Beach, 57 in Georgetown. Conway right now checking in at 54 degrees in the easy part of the forecast is the next 24 to 36 hours. Staying comfortable 77 in the Grand Strand today. 80 inland with a light northeasterly breeze and while we do see some occasional clouds drift overhead, we'll keep the forecast dry overnight tonight. We'll bring in another round of those comfortable temperatures dropping into the upper 50s to low 60s. And then as we head into the day on Thursday, we will gradually start to thicken up the clouds and just an outside chance we could get a sprinkle or a brief light shower late in the day. And then the forecast gets a whole lot more complicated as we work our way into the Memorial Day weekend. So let's take a deep dive into this area of low pressure we've been talking about here over the past couple of days. Still forecast to get started as we head into the day tomorrow off the coast of Florida, then kind of drifting its way off to the northeast as we head through late Thursday into the day on Friday. And then by late Friday into Saturday, just kind of slowly backing its way towards the coast. And as that happens, it brings in the potential for some periods of heavy rain, gusty winds, and also some dangerous marine conditions, not looking like a good stretch of weather to do boating, especially Friday into Saturday. Let's focus on the rainfall, though, starting off on Friday. As we start to see that area of low pressure offshore, we'll start to see those showers gradually increasing in our area, especially late in the day, but it's not a washout Friday. We'll keep those rain chances at 40% those highest chances going to be closer to the beaches. Now Friday night into Saturday, that's when that area of low pressure really starts to have an impact on our area and Saturday continues now to look more and more like a potential washout. In fact, we've bumped those rain chances up to 70% during the day on Saturday. Some of that rain could be heavy, but the whole weekend is not going to be a washout. Notice as we head into Sunday, we drop those rain chances back down to just 40% as I think the steadiest and the heaviest rain moves further inland. We'll start to get some breaks and likely even see a little bit of sunshine at times as we head into the day on Sunday. But as far as that heavy rain potential, models jumping all over it. Now I'm not quite ready to buy into those four to six inch amounts right now, but certainly looking at the potential for a couple of inches of rain, especially on Saturday. 